hope you guys can hear me. I'm sorry, I'm on the road going between work locations. Um, I had a dream last night. This is the only time I have to post this dream and I feel like I have to post it today. Um, so I had the dream last night. Today is um, September, oh what is today? 26th I want to say. Yeah, September 26th of 2016. I had a dream last night that I was in a facility with other people and there had just been um, a bomb that went off in the United States. It was a nuclear weapon. A nuclear weapon went off in the States and it came from North Korea. And um, to retaliate, the United States uh, in turn nuked a city in um, North Korea. And in my head, and I haven't, I haven't really looked at a map thoroughly to see what city this could be. I didn't see it spelled out or anything, but I saw the city was was Kai Song or Kai Sin, Kai Song. I, I think it, Kai Kai Sin or Kai Song. I can't remember, but it was like it was it was started with a K and it ended with an N. So it was Kai. I want to say Kai Song, Kai Kai Sin. Anyway, so. Um, then we knew another uh, nuclear weapon was going to come back and for whatever reason I kept picturing it um, going to be detonated in Florida um, but I'm not sure I'm not sure exactly um, like I said I'm not trying to give a prophecy this was just a dream it was very scary I will tell you that it, it struck a chord in my heart um, then also, I'll tell you that after, before the third bomb went off, I was in a facility without, it was like a, a building without a roof, like the roof had caved in, and there was all this medical equipment and tables and stuff around, and there was this mother with her children, and sh and there was um, this stuff falling from the sky, um, looked like, I want to say in my head, the initial thought I had was ash, and then eventually it ended up looking like rain. But when it would touch your skin, it would um, burn. So I didn't see exactly the kind of boil, if it caused a boil, if it if it actually, you know, like burned the tissue away. I just know that it hurt when it touched you. It wasn't enough to be like debilitating. It was just enough to be extremely annoying um, where you didn't want to stand outside. You had to be underneath something. And I saw the mom trying to cuddle or huddle her children underneath the table so that when this stuff would fall from the sky it wouldn't touch her children and I remember trying to seek shelter myself but I was trying to under various equipment that I was trying to piece together to make like a a, um, a shelter but there were holes and stuff between the pieces of equipment and occasionally I would be getting you know like it would touch my skin um, but it was uh, that and then that was part of the dream that I was allowed to see. So I don't know if this is um, something to come or if it's something to watch out for, but I will say that the dream really shook me up and um, I thought it was important to share and I felt like it was important enough to share it not even 24 hours after the dream and I rarely do that. So um, anyways, I want to let you guys know that I love you. God bless you all. I, I don't know if you guys are under the same... Well, you have to be. I mean, if you're children of God, you're obviously under attack. I've been under extreme attack lately, and I'm trying my best to remain chipper in the light of things that have happened recently. Um, but, you know, you, you get through, you make it, and you, you, you keep going on. You keep trucking. And <laughs> so, so it's hard. It's really hard. There's some days I just want to throw in the rag, and, you know, I can't. And when I think it... When I think the worst is to come, um, the Lord always seems to, to relieve it a little bit. So it's like, it's like a big, it's like a big, um, uh, something, a big trouble that attacks or a big trouble that, that comes upon me. And then, and then just when I think it's going to get worse and I'm going to have to do something to, to alleviate it myself, I find the time to pray. And then he, not even 24 hours later, he, he absolves it. He, he takes it away from me and um, 
makes it easier for me. So I, I know I know they're small little trials. It's almost like it's almost like steps that I'm taking up, um, and I think each time I'm able to to come back without as much emotion um, to keep me getting stronger. Anyways, I hope I hope that encourages you guys because I'm sure I'm not the only one feeling it. But I love you all. And Please, if you have any questions, in the comments below. Like I said, I don't know much more about this dream other than what I've had. Um, if you have any confirmations or have had anything similar, 